Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and we are prepared to leave because we're out of water. I have all of my crafts, as you can see. I've moved the airlock over here. We need to leave, so I prepped the jump, and we're gonna jump. Are we not jumping? I said prep the jump. Ready for navigator. Oh, they've all gone to sleep. God damn it, get back to your job. We're gonna, we're gonna run out of oxygen. We ran out of water. So no one's uh, running things. Come on, guys. Stop sleeping. I could tell them not to sleep, but they're all going to die of oxygen loss any second now. Come on. Go. Wake up. Do your jobs. So yeah, it's been a little while. Obviously, I've got things sorted. We need more resources. We are very low on water, as in without. I've moved all my heavy machinery to the centre, as you can see. But yeah, we are out of water. We need ice. Okay, we prep, we leave now. Good. And we're going to go here. Now, when you jump, you can choose to go to other places, as you can see. I just keep on going. But we need the ice. A lot of ice. In fact, we need so much ice. Please ignore the noise in the background. That's something going on outside. If you can hear it. Hopefully not. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's grab all the ice. And hopefully turn it all very quickly into something useful. And as you can see, they're all going out. Going to start mining the ice. Uh, we have no way of using the resource from anywhere else, but we will, of course, end up having to go back to the main asteroid base, I guess. Unless we find okay, oxygen's being made. Unless we find enough resources from derelicts to build our own refineries and so on, but that could take a while. So right now, obviously, we're doing what we can. Which, unfortunately, is also quite a lot. Now, luckily, 10 ice should give us about 50 water. So we should last for a while. We should be able to get our food going, or water going. Where's my people? Should be showing them. Ah, there we go. I pushed the wrong one. What's this? Build a new ship. Oh, I can build a new ship. Really? Can I build that? That's it. Ship points one. Yeah, reset. Well, I can just change the size, but it looks like. Hmm. Okay, I can do another 4x4. Four four. I'm not going to, because I don't have enough resources to build this ship. But if I can build multiple ships, I'd be a lot happier. Then I can obviously do different things in different places. Right now, of course, we don't have the power for these, so the lights aren't on. They still work, but. Not being recharged, they get oxygen, stuff like that. Let's just grab all the rest of the resources, then we're going to keep on moving. Because the next place also doesn't have... Ugh. Also doesn't have somewhere we're going to invade. We need to find a derelict. So we can recycle. That's our goal. Find a derelict, recycle it, move on. But yeah, we don't have anything to harvest... So right now all resources we're going to have to take straight back to our asteroid base. Or we temporarily build something at the back I guess and just leave it at that but yeah right now it's a bit meh. I think if we build any more things it's going to start getting cold so we need another heater. Hopefully I have the resources for another heater. We might not actually. Six degrees yeah we need another heater here. So as you can see, uh, things are on the edge of being alive. The very edge of being alive. Yeah, we don't have a fleet. So we need more lights, we need more resources. Obviously, like I say, we do have this going on, but it will have to do. It should heat it up. Let me have a look. resource being picked up and then we should be G to G. Let's actually expand this to here. Expand this to here. We can like seal this off, make this its own room. So obviously I'd like to have um 
uh, industry and stuff down here. So we need to start building stuff from refined areas. But right now our ship is a mess. I'm going to have to see how it goes because it is a mess. I'm not even sure I like how it looks currently. We've just got plenty of space to build more to it at least. But yeah, it's a bit... Hull blocks are low. We can't build more hull blocks. So we have to do what we can. Don't nab it. Okay, we'll leave it at that for now. Uh, okay, all resources are grabbed. Again, we can't do anything with it, so our next goal is to prep and jump. We have enough, wait, enough fuel for five hyper jumps. That's not good. Do we not bring the fuel with us? That might be a problem. That might be a problem. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. So obviously I kind of want us to be able to, you know, live, I guess the phrase is. They really need lights in the bedroom. Very odd. Okay, we're prepped to jump. Let's go. That's a pirate ship on its way. We don't have guns. That's probably for the best. <laughs> oh dear. That could have been painful. Okay, let's move to here. So obviously we want all the water again. We always want water. Grab that first. If we don't have water, we can't live. Water right now is the entirety of what we're after. Because it's the only thing right now we can deal with. Unless... Metal refiner. We don't have any more of these blocks it needs. Like I could have that. An assembler is this stuff. We're missing blocks. And that will be a problem. So with this... It'll have to do. So we're to grab all the resources here, move on. But we are going to start trying to build our own gear. It means we are going to have to hope for a salvage ship. And we're going to need one pretty soon because we're running out of resources. And also there's pirates somewhere over here. So they're behind us. So we need to leave. We need to leave. Micro weave would be there. Energy refiner. Okay, as you can see here, there's multiple layers of power cells and things around here. So I can build one here and we should be okay. You also see the level of power, like these ones are quite low powered. So yeah, you need to kind of keep an eye on what's linked to where and how much power is being used. But we need all these resources, we need them now, we need to go. Because that pirate ship will be back and we have no guns. We have absolutely no guns whatsoever. Oh, here are a lot of bikes outside. That's cool. Eventually, it's been three years now, and I'm pretty sure they're still showing off for some ungodly reason. Eventually they will realise that they can take their bikes and drive places. As of right now, they drive in a circle. Like, very literally a circle. It takes them like 30 seconds to go round it, but they do it every day, for hours on end. One day they'll figure out they can literally just go into the countryside. I mean, I don't hold out hope. They're not, they don't seem to be that good at what they do. You know, drive. 
Okay, let's prep. Let's prepare to jump. I don't think I care about the next area. It's probably going to go straight through it. Derelict. We're going for the derelict. We're going to prepare an assault team and go for the derelict. Okay, who has the guns in this team? Which is a question. You don't. You do. Draft. There. Draft. There. Draft. There. Draft. There. Okay. Enter the craft. Okay. Dock. There. We're going in. It's a small craft compared to the first one. We should be okay. But those are famous last words, I'll be honest. Move out into the open. There we go. Yo, a lot of aliens on this ship. Oh my god, we've only hit four of them. Okay, we're gonna have to clear this room by room. This is actually too many aliens. so many aliens. This, this ship is infested. Positively infested with evil. Luckily you can like multiple move your troops. Do you have to explore over here? Yeah I do. Okay. Let's team move over to here. More shotguns to be fair, we may have to buy a shotgun. Okay, it's explored. Undraft, undraft. Okay, we need to just take everything from here. Transfer all of it. Salvage all of it. Low chance of hull. High chance of infra though. And tech and energy. We need those. Okay. Salvage it all. There we go. So they were taking it down straight to bedrock, that's good. It's obviously not everything we need, but it's a damn good start. Get some hull scraps, obviously we need a lot of hull scraps to make more hull. It's going to take a while. Also everyone's asleep, so it's going to take a bit longer. You know, just small things, like being asleep. Maybe we should start getting doors Doors require infra though. What's I think? They require power. Contains a built in vent, which is good, so you can actually seal the doors off. Okay, there goes a team. Obviously, we do require a lot of resources. Also, there's not actually that much noise. I'm hearing the people in the distance, but not really doing much. Okay, it's going to take a while. They're going to scrap everything they can, as you can see. We will, of course, be needing more resources. There's not much here. What else is available? Another scrapper in the next one. That's good. Okay, that's now worked. The micro weaver. We can now weave fabrics. Oh, more info at least. I say, once these are done, we're just very low on certain resources. A certain one being the inner blocks, I think they're called. Do I have any fabrics? I do. I am making more, if I remember correctly. I'm making food. We have. Sp oh, oh, look at that. I think the last thing they do is destroy this and it leaves behind a little bit of scrap. 
So yeah, we need more. We need more. We need a lot more. We also need more lights. I mean, they seem happy there's lights in their room, but I don't know why they're happy there's lights in their room. Seems a weird thing to want in your room. But whatever, who am I to judge besides their overlord? Okay, that's a problem. But yeah, we're getting places. We're getting places. It's not good places, but we're getting there. Get some more whole blocks. Try even get some more energy cells, which of course we need because we can't produce any currently. The ship scrapped. Ship scrapped. Okay. Uh, prepare to jump. So right now, of course, we're trying to avoid pirates. We have no guns. If any pirates attack us, we will have to hit them in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and we only have four weapons, three of which are pistols. Which isn't good. Also, we can't obviously leave right now, because we don't have access to any of the hyperspace chambers. Or we need to put them! There's an enemy sh unknown ship. It's probably a friendly, I think. We can trade with it. Uh, let's put someone on comms. Okay, someone's on nav. It's an operation, not nav. Wait, is nav... Okay, operations means I can trade, right? Yes. This is me. They're offering those and they want these. What have we got? We have 72 credits. They're offering water, 19 for 55 each. They're offering, and I can sell mine for 10. I see an issue here. Okay, they're massively inflating everything because they hate us. Well, that's a problem. So we do need to make some trades, but 1400 for hyperfuel. Also, wait, 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 wait. Trades north of four. We're going to do four trades with this shit, then we have to move on. Oh no. That's a problem. Okay, so what makes hyperfuel? I think... Okay, you're now talking. Negotiate... Mission to visit ship. We don't agree to that. Of course they don't. Don't agree to vision proposals either. Our power balance is evenly matched. We're neutral with the faction. The cult of New Haven. In... Interesting. Anyway, you had the weapons? Okay, draft. Carmela. Then it was Gustav. I need to name these people. We need to give you guys names. It was Tony? Jaden. Yeah, you start naming people. Uh, you guys love it when you get to die for me. For some ungodly reason. Okay. Dock at the ship. We need a med bay. We don't have a med bay. This may be stupid considering we may. Oh! Considering we may get hits like that. Now, one thing is, if, you, if you're one of your people's panicked, uh, you can't actually control the whole group if you have them still, you know, connected. So if I do this, because Gustav's panicked, as you can see, I can't make them move. So I have to control the group without Gustav. That was an ambush. They actively ambushed us. So he won't listen to me now. But to be fair, he wasn't listening to me anyway. Basic resources. 
Oxygen's a little low. Oh, a PDA. Never finished reading the last one, did I? Oh, alien. Are you happy yet? No, still not happy. God damn it, good stuff. Clear the ship so I can save Gustav. Bloody useless. So Gustav's injured. Probably gonna bleed to death. Okay. Okay, Jaden. Uh Jaden, you can no longer draft, are you? No. Status. Monster bite. Ouch. Wait, what condition? Got bit by an alien. Low energy, minor discomfort. Someone was mean to me. Was it a guy who bit you? Oh, it seems okay. Sod it. You'll salvage this and then move on. Weird. As a human foot. Cool. <laughs> Maybe he was injured. Maybe he was. So he's not telling me anything. So maybe he died. And it was replaced by an alien clone. Okay, plenty of info and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop putting a couple of doors in. That will hopefully also slow down, say, alien invasion and stuff like that. Also, if need be, I can seal off certain areas to deprive them of oxygen. Of course, I need to move my oxygen gear because it's all just currently in a corridor, but yeah, we are prepping. CNHS Pathfinder. I like the name. I do like the name. I'm going to break it down for pieces, as you can see. Completely strip it to bedrock, which... Uh, uh, it's not bedrock, is it? Okay, completely strip it to constituent parts. Yeah, break it down to bedrock. One of my favourite phrases. Not really useful when it's not bedrock, but whatever. Okay, doors and things exist now. Walls are going up. We actually have a mostly working ship. Obviously it doesn't look good right now, but it does work. We just need to get more parts. So sort of big things right now. We don't have the pieces. What's actually here? Okay, what's here? Won't tell me. And I don't count as our resources so they actually get stored. Oh, we, oh, oh, we actually don't need that either. Okay, we don't need anyone in operations. I also need to start scheduling people at different times of the day. So we actually always have people working. So we may have like a four-man team. Yeah, if you have two four-man teams, that'd be good. So let's start scheduling while we're at it. Okay. One, two... They're going to sleep. Okay. Work. I'm just going to form. First team's going to full on work constantly, as you can see. And they're going to sleep. Okay, they're going to have a free time here. And do that. Oh wait, no, we can do that. So how it works is you get two hours of free time and then to do this. That way there'll be two teams constantly working. Obviously there'll be a couple of minor issues because they haven't fully slept yet, but it should be okay to start. 
Although I am debating actually having them, you know, have their free time overlap so the crews can talk. It should be alright. It should be alright. Yeah, because obviously when they're still working, the other team's going there, so yeah, they get to drink and eat. So the crews are doing fine. Okay, yeah, I'm okay with that. Never life spot, I'd like to have a gas scrubber sorted out in the toilet. Just because it amuses me. <laughs> Just because it amuses me. That also needs in stuff. Oh, well, I'm gonna need to find one. Okay, there will give us the resources needed to make. Can I clean this? No. We'll give us the resources needed to actually make energy, but not really useful right now because we can't do anything with them. Ship storage full. There we go, more storage. So we're doing okay, we have two crews, well two teams, the crew seems to be active. We're salvaging everything. I don't know where we're going to go though, because we're going to run out of fuel soon. Incoming ship, who? Pirates! And I've been the Fallen Shogun, and we're going to leave it here. The pirates will be in the next one. Anyway, ciao for now. People, be awesome, be epic, and we'll be seeing if anyone survives next time. Oh, pirates.